they are supposed to collect 1000 rupees they collected only 800 still how much they are supposed to collect they are supposed to collect nearly 200 rupees so what we are supposed to do we are supposed to minus it from the cost profit if any income is credited in financial account we are supposed to add it to the costing profit losses due to theft provided only in financial account so theft is nothing but the amount going out so it is shown in the financial account in the cost account it is not shown what we are supposed to do now we are supposed to minus it from cost profit Hello everyone, I am Arun Kumar, lecturer in the Department of Commerce and Management, Vidyashtam First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Dear students, welcome to this new session on Unit Number 5, Session 2 on the topic Reconciliation of Cost and Financial Accounts. So dear students, in the last class, we discussed about what is the meaning of reconciliation of cost and financial accounts and we also got to know the reasons for difference in profit under financial accounts as well as under cost accounts and we also learnt about how to adjust the expenses or the reasons with respect to if you are taking the net profit as per the cost sheet. So here is our first problem with respect to reconciliation of cost and financial accounts. So the problem goes like this. The financial books of a company shows a net profit of rupees 1,27,560 for the year ending 31st December 2022. The cost account shows a net profit of rupees 1,33,520 for the same corresponding period. The following facts are brought to light. So here before getting to this, the other factors, first look into the profit. So here you can see net profit as per the financial books is rupees 1,27,560 and the net profit as per the costing books is rupees 1,33,520. So here you can easily see there is a difference, difference between the financial books as well as the costing books. So in financial profit you have 1,27,560, in costing profit you have 1,33,520. So with respect to this, they had given some other factors. So which are those? Factory overhead under recovered in cost accounting. Factory overhead under recovered under cost accounting 11,100. Next administration overhead, administration overhead recovered in cost accounting. So administration overhead over recovered in cost account 8,500. Next, depreciation charged in financial accounts. So, depreciation charged in financial accounts, 7,320. Next, depreciation recovered in cost account, 7,900. Next, interest received but not included in cost account, 900. Income tax debited in financial account, rupees 1,200. Next, bank interest credited in financial account, 460. Next, stores adjustments credited in financial accounts, 840. Next, rent charged in financial account is 1,720. Next, dividend paid recorded in financial accounts is 2,400. Loss of obsolence charged in financial account is 520. So, these are all the adjustments we have with respect to the profit of financial books as well as costing books. In this particular problem, we are taking the profit of cost accounts as the base. We are taking the profits of the cost accounts as the base. So what is the profit as per the costing? So as per the costing, the profit is 1,33,520. What is the profit? 1,33,520. So now you are supposed to write profit as per cost accounts is 1,33,520. So that is the base what we are taking and now we are supposed to add and deduct the given adjustments or the given factors. So what is the first factor they had given? The first factor they had given is factory overhead, factory overhead under recovered in cost accounting. 
So what is under recovered? For example, they were supposed to collect, they were supposed to collect 1000 rupees. Okay, they were supposed to collect 1000 rupees. So what they did, they collected only 800 rupees, only 800 rupees. So factory overhead is nothing but it's an expenses. They are supposed to collect 1000 rupees, they collected only 800. Still how much they are supposed to collect? They are supposed to collect nearly 200 rupees. So what we are supposed to do? We are supposed to minus it from the cost profit because it was supposed to be deducted but it is not deducted. So now we are minusing it, right? We are deducting it. Which one? Factory overhead under recovered in cost accounting. If it is over recovered, then we would have added, right? So now it is under recovered, we are deducting it. Second one, administration overhead, administration overhead, over recovered. That means he is supposed to collect only 7,000 for example, but he collected 8,500. Okay. Or in excess he collected 8,500. That means the expenses are collected more than the actual expenses are supposed to be collected with respect to administration department. So what we are supposed to do? Here you can see administration overhead, over recovered in cost account. What we are supposed to do? We are supposed to add it. Next thing, it is with respect to depreciation. So depreciation charged in financial accounts. Depreciation charged in financial accounts is 7,320 and depreciation recovered in cost account is 7,900. So in these two, the difference amount you are supposed to add. So your administration also you are going to add and the difference of depreciation charge in financial accounts and depreciation recovered in cost accounts, the difference amount you are going to add to the cost profit. Next interest received, interest received but not included in cost account. So what we are supposed to do with this? We are supposed to add interest. So what we are supposed to do? We are supposed to add the interest amount. So what we will do 900, we are going to add. Next income tax debited in financial account. So income tax debited, it means expenses are debited in financial account. So here also in cost account, what we are supposed to do? We are supposed to minus, we are supposed to deduct the income tax. Next bank interest credited in financial account. So bank interest is credited in financial account. So now what we are supposed to do in cost sheet? We are supposed to add this amount. If any income is credited in financial account, we are supposed to add it to the costing profit. Next, stores adjustment credited in financial account. What adjustment says? Stores adjustment credited. So credited is nothing but again it's an income. So what we are supposed to do if it is credited in financial account, we are supposed to add it in cost profit. Next, rent charge in financial account. So rent charge is an expenditure. So what we are supposed to do? We are supposed to minus in cost profit. Next thing, dividend paid recorded in financial accounts. Again, dividend paid, the amount is going out. It is recorded in financial account, but not in cost account. So we are deducting it from net profit of cost sheet. Next, we are deducting it from cost profit. Next, loss of obsolescence charged in financial account. Again, loss, it's going out of the business. So it's shown in the financial account, but not in cost profit. So what we are doing, we are deducting it from cost profit. So if you have this kind of factors, first you have to note down whether you are supposed to add it or deduct it. Later on what you are supposed to do, then you are supposed to solve the problem. So first what you are supposed to write, you are supposed to write profit as per cost account. So always take cost profit as your base. Okay. Always take cost profit as your base. So what is the cost profit here? 1,33,520. So for that, first add. Add all the items which you are supposed to add. Then you deduct the items which you are supposed to deduct. So add administration overhead, over recovered in cost account. So here you can see administration overhead, over recovered in cost account. We are supposed to add it. So add it. What is the value? 8,500. Next, the adjusted depreciation, 7,900 minus 7,320. So we'll get the balance of 580 add. Next, interest received, but not included in cost account. Interest received, here you can see what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to 
add. So add interest received of rupees 900. Then bank interest credited in financial account. So bank interest credited in financial account. That also you're supposed to add. You can see here I added the value of 460. Next stores adjustment credited. That means the amount coming in. It showed in the financial account. So it is not shown in the cost. So now we are adding it. So total all the you know adding items. So total how much you'll get? You'll get the total of 11,280. So add that 11,280 with 1,33,520. So you'll get the total of 1,44,800. From that value deduct, deduct the items which you are supposed to deduct. In that factory overhead under recovered. So you're supposed to deduct 11,400. Income tax received but not included in cost. Income tax received but not included in cost. 1200 rupees. Next rent charged in financial account which is not shown in the cost sheet that you are deducting 1720. Dividend paid charged in financial account. So dividend paid the amount going out. It's shown in the financial account but not in cost. So deduct that 2400 also. Next loss of obsolescence charged in financial account. So it's shown in the financial account. The loss is shown in the financial account but not in cost account. So show or deduct it here from the cost profit. So 520. So total all this you will get 17,240. Deduct 17,240 from 144800. You will get the balance of 127,560. 127,560. That is the profit as per financial account. In problem only you can see what is the profit as per financial account. It is 1,27,560, right? So here also got the same answer, 1,27,560. That means because of these adjustments, because of these reasons, because of this additions and subtraction, you can see the difference in profit of cost and profit under financial account. So if you do these adjustments, you'll get the exact picture why it's showing the difference. So this is how you're supposed to solve the problem they might ask this problem for 10 marks or 15 marks in your main exam so let us move to the next question question number two from the following figures prepare a reconciliation statement so first they had given net profit as for financial books 63,780 next net profit as per costing books 66,760 so now you are taking the cost profit the net profit as per cost book as your base okay you are taking cost profit as your base so the first point factory on cost under recovered in cost factory on cost under recovered in cost so what we are supposed to do we are supposed to minus this we are supposed to minus this from cost profit next one administration cost recovered in excess administration cost recovered in excess so what you are supposed to do you are supposed to add this to cost profit so to the cost profit depreciation charged in financial books and depreciation recovered in costing so in these two you are going to take the difference amount the difference amount is supposed to be added to the cost profit next interest received but not included in cost Interest received is the income. It's shown in the financial account, but not in the cost account. What you are supposed to do? You are supposed to add it. You are supposed to add it. Next, income tax provided in financial books. That means you are paying income tax. That is an expenditure is shown in the financial account, but not in the cost account. What you are supposed to do? Yes, now you are supposed to deduct it. Next, bank interest credited in financial account. Yes, bank interest is nothing but income is coming and it's shown in the financial account, not in cost account. So now what you're supposed to, you're supposed to add it. Next one, stores adjustments credited in financial books. Again, you're supposed to add because it, the amount is credited. Next one, depreciation of stocks charged in financial account. So with respect to that, what we are supposed to do? We are supposed to deduct it. We are supposed to deduct it from cost profit. Next, dividends appropriated in financial books. That means the dividend going out, what we are supposed to do? We are supposed to minus it from cost profit. Next, losses due to theft provided only in financial account. 
So theft is nothing but the amount going out. So it is shown in the financial account. In the cost account, it is not shown. What we are supposed to do now? We are supposed to minus it from cost profit. So this is how you are supposed to segregate first. Then you can solve the problem very easily. So now reconciliation statement or preparation of reconciliation statement. Net profit as per costing books. So what is the net profit as per costing books? It is 66,760. Here you can see 66,760. So administration cost recovered in excess. The administration cost recovered in excess. So that amount should be added. Next depreciation. The adjusted depreciation is 290 rupees. That also added. Next interest received not included in cost book. The interest received. That means it's an income not shown in the cost book. Now we are adding it. Bank interest credited in financial book but not in cost books. Again we are supposed to add this because it's a income. Stores adjustments credited. So credited is nothing but income. So again add. So total this thing you'll get 5640 add with 66760 you'll get the total of 72400. From that less. So we have few items to deduct that is the first one factory on cost under recovered in cost books 5700 income tax provides only in financial books that also is supposed to deduct because it's not shown in the cost books. Depreciation of stocks charged only in financial books. Again, they were supposed to deduct it in cost, but they were didn't deduct it. So now we are deducting 560 rupees. Next, dividends appropriated only in financial account. So the dividends were shown only in you know financial account. Now you are deducting it from cost also. Losses due to theft that also shown only in the financial books, but now you are deducting it from cost profit. So total this you will get 8620. So deduct this from 70 to 400, you will get the balance of 63,780. 63,780 net profit as per financial books. Just cross verify with your question. So what is the net profit as per financial books given in the question? It is 63,780. So now what is the amount you got? 63,780. So whatever is solved, whatever the adjustment you did, that's correct. And because of this reason, the costing books and the financial books is showing the difference in profit. So this is how you are supposed to solve the problems with respect to reconciliation of cost and financial accounts. So with this, I'm going to wind up this session. I'll come up with few more videos. Until then, thank you all. Have a nice day. Namaste.